Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, mining's dormant gold analyzer, seen as potential gold optimizer with help of today's technology. And South Africa's mineral endowment, public market advantages must be put to work. A portable gold analyzer provides the grade of gold in underground stopes. All one does is move the instrument across the rock base and it indicates the economic worth of the gold in it. The industry thought, a number of industry thought, that it was uh, an exceptional piece of equipment. And it had a huge potential benefits. But it also indicated the capacity in the chamber for undertaking the work and actually how modern changes and more recent changes could actually make this type of equipment more affordable, improve it, make it. Some people felt it was a bit uh, too bulky, but it was handheld. But uh, the, the modern uh, technology may make it more suitable, even more suitable for underground. There are many X-ray fluorescent pieces of equipment available, but they're not really geared for gold or they're not uh, suitably mine worthy and intrinsically safe for gold mining at depth where the environment is very uh, aggressive. So I think it highlights that there are many other type of pieces of equipment which weren't taken up by the industry, weren't commercialized within the portfolio of Comro, for instance. So I think there are, uh, there are many other aspects of Comro's research, which went on for 30 years and uh, at its peak uh, employed about 800 people. So a lot of information was reduced, like the portable gold analyzer. With South Africa's mineral endowment and its public capital markets being two of its greatest advantages, both need to be put to work in a manner that is common in other global mining jurisdictions. My view has always been that junior mining and new mine development and capital market development and participation in the capital markets are two sides of the same coin. And we've not seen that kind of joined up thinking from policymakers in South Africa. We've not had the kinds of incentives that encourage both exploration and investment via public market, like flow through shares, for example, in other markets. But hopefully here, by the industry itself working together, with us being one side of the coin, the capital markets development side, and, and with the explicit aim of getting greater participation of small investors directly in companies where their money goes into the companies. And on the other side, the, the primary geological work, the exploration, the mine development, the real impact on the ground that's happening in the Northern Cape on the other side, I think, uh, you know, you can see why Errol and I came together. We quite often um, are on panels disagreeing with each other, but on this we completely agree. We need to get money into the ground, get projects built, you develop the public markets to support those projects, and then get um, people to work. I just think South Africa's mineral endowment and its public capital markets are two of its greatest advantages, and we need to put them both to work. And this is just baby steps to starting to get that going. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.